All right, here's to the 50th birthday party for Quinnevog Valley Community College. Everything you have meant for Northeast Connecticut. What you mean in terms of manufacturing? That's how we grow and expand the economic pie right in your region. Make sure people are trained for the jobs that are out there. We wouldn't be able to do it without you. Happy 50th. Hello, I'm Terrence Chang, president of the Connecticut State Colleges and University System. I am thrilled to wish the faculty, staff, students, alumni, and distinguished partners and community members at Quinnebog Valley Community College a happy 50th anniversary. For a half a century now, Quinnebog Valley has been a gem for the quiet corner, providing incredible educational opportunities in everything from STEM fields to the humanities to advanced manufacturing to some new offerings like cannabis studies. You prepare people of all ages from all walks of life to join the workforce or continue their educational journey. But more importantly, the college helps people expand their horizons and think critically. That, of course, is a two-way street. If we dare to be open-minded, those of us who are fortunate enough to be educators continue to learn from our students throughout our academic careers. That's what higher education should be all about. And it's exactly what you do here at Quinnebog Valley. While the campus footprint has changed over the past 50 years, the core mission, an open access institution that provides the opportunity for upward mobility through superb education, remains consistent. And we need to make sure those core principles remain in place here and around the state for the next 50 years. The Quinnebug Valley campus, steeped as it is in history, is critical to the future of our system of the northeastern corner and to the state at large. So congratulations once again on this incredible milestone, half a century as a community pillar and an asset to students and employers alike. Thank you to our wonderful CEO, Karen Hynek, Regional President, Rob Steinmetz, and the entire QVCC family. You make us proud every day. I'm Rob Steinmetz, the Regional President for the Capital East Region of Connecticut's Community Colleges. And I'm very proud that that includes Quinnebog Valley Community College, and I'm so happy that we are celebrating 50 years of this wonderful institution changing lives and impacting our community in immeasurable positive ways. As I reflect on the impacts that we've had, I think about all of our academic programs that are cutting edge and that are changing lives and impacting the economic growth in our community. From engineering to manufacturing to early childhood education, to our medical lab technician program, which is the only one that exists in the state, to our new cannabis program, which saw what was happening in the future to remain on the cutting edge of where our jobs and our growth will be as we go into the next decades. I am so proud of all of the work that our faculty and staff do to support our students and community through these programs and support services that exist. I also reflect on the proud support that we have provided to active military and veterans. We've been recognized nationally multiple times for this support and will continue to move forward with making sure that we're providing various opportunities for support and growth for that community. As I reflect on my time working with Quinnebog Valley Community College, the thing that stands out most is the word community in our name. I, from the time I interviewed, saw such passion from the community for this college and such advocacy and such a desire to see Quinnebog Valley Community College succeed and grow. From the volunteers who work in our foundation to those who are on advisory committees to those who are just community members that I see with such advocacy for the college, thank you. Thank you for your support. And I look forward to continuing to work with all of you, from faculty, staff, and students to community members, to see and celebrate the last 50 years 
and look at even greater success as we go through the next 50 years. Thanks so much. Happy 50th birthday, Quinnebog Valley Community College. After founding the college in 1971, President Emeritus Bob Miller served for about 22 more years. I followed him and served for about 17 years. Others will speak to what the future is proposed to be and what it is now. I'm just going to comment on those first 39. The stories of the early days abound. First, fighting for a college in Northeast Connecticut, operating in numerous temporary locations, having one phone line for a college, the fight for a permanent site, and then at the last minute before construction began, having the building size cut back drastically for, imagine this, political reasons. We also were in multiple temporary sites in Willimantic to serve that part of our service area. I know there are people here who experienced those early days, and I would ask you to seek them out and hear those stories firsthand. The years 1993 to 2010 brought changes as the college grew in all dimensions. The legislature changed the mission to become comprehensive, which added a technical mission. For Quinnebog, first it was plastics and then advanced manufacturing. Expanded credit-free programming increased with job training programs. The robust learning and retirement program was established and we ran Summer Kids Academy. Importantly, the addition of the West Wing. This finally brought back the space cut in that original construction and even more resources for students and the community, like the Art Gallery. A successful capital campaign run by the Foundation resulted in all, all the furniture and equipment in that new West Wing being paid for with locally raised funds, not the state of Connecticut, as well as additional funds for scholarships and financial aid. The establishment of the Middle College is part of our mission, although the actual construction began after 2010 and the leasing of a full service center in Willimantic with strong enrollment growth as we serve that part of our service area. These were changes and there have of course been more since then, but some truths or facts have continued from the beginning and should be celebrated and valued not just today, but every day forward. First, Quinnebog only exists because the people of Northeast Connecticut demanded it. Second, the college has always had bipartisan support. No candidate has had a plank in their platform that QVCC is a waste of tax dollars and should be closed. Elected officials view the college as a resource and an asset, not just an expense. Third, the community supports the college in an ongoing active way, from the original Citizens Advisory Group to the Regional Advisory Council to the Outstanding Foundation. Bob served as president of five of the 12 and I served as president of three. We were very clear that based on those experiences that the relationship between Quinnebog Valley and the community is unique and powerful and can be a great advocate in tough times. Fourth, Quinnebog Valley offers the benefits of a small private college locally at low or now even no cost to the student. The classes are small, students receive individual attention and support, there is assistance with career planning and or transfer. Honor societies are in place to recognize excellence and the faculty who teach are evaluated and promoted based on teaching and service. A student is a person, not a number. Fifth, QVCC is one of just a few institutions that impacts directly or indirectly the citizens, the institutions, the organizations, and the employers in every town in Northeast Connecticut and in Willimantic. Most importantly, the closing truth or fact. At Quinnebog Valley Community College, it has always been from day one, not where you are, but where you can go and what you can be. The college has been preparing the thought force in and the workforce for its communities for the last 50 years. My birthday wish for the college, may it continue. Thank you. Happy 50th anniversary, Quinnebog Valley Community College. It's hard to believe that 50 years ago, our institution first opened its doors to provide an open access, public, affordable, high quality post-secondary education for the residents of Wyndham County in Northeast Connecticut. Since our humble beginnings at Ellis Technical High School to our current day sprawling campus in Danielson and our campus location in Willimantic, QVCC has been a staple in our community, advancing the economic trajectory of our students and their families 
by providing a comprehensive array of academic programs aligned to our regional labor market needs. In fact, we've grown over time to offer over 50 programs that result in credit-bearing certificates or associate degrees, as well as providing a range of short-term workforce opportunities that lead to industry-recognized credentials. Our pathways range from healthcare to manufacturing, to computer science, to education, to business, and even a full complement of coursework in liberal arts and sciences. To date, we've awarded over 7,500 degrees and certificates to over 6,300 students who graduated from us, many of whom remain in our service area today. Our alumni are our community's entrepreneurs, childcare educators, engineers, medical lab technicians, healthcare workers, manufacturers, town and state leaders, artists, and human service providers. Early on, our founder, President Robert Miller, and his team created a warm and welcoming culture at QVCC, where every student had a sense of belonging and their individual story and circumstance was valued. Their success became our central mission. This culture continues today, where students are not a number, but a vital member of our community. Our former president, Diane Williams, had the forethought to advocate for bringing Quinnebog Middle College to our campus, recognizing the need to connect learners early in their educational journey to the opportunity and promise higher education provides. Our students are diverse and have, have varied lived experiences. Many of our students are the first in their families to go to college. Several are working full-time while going to school. Many have served our nation proudly as members of our military. Some are also raising their families or actively serving as caregivers. Our students come from a continuum of ages, from our dual enrolled student to our traditionally aged student to the adult learner to our senior citizen who are part of our learning and retirement program. QVCC meets our learners where they are and works with them to help them achieve their educational and career goals. Our faculty and staff are among the finest educators in the country. They love the art of teaching and awaking the passion for their content subject matter in our students. They care deeply about our students and go the extra mile to support their learning, be it through providing exceptional care in our admissions, financial aid or advising offices, or teaching our students how to use their information literacy and research skills in our library, or supporting their development of time management and study skills in our learning center. Our students are our top priority. As a college, we have benefited significantly through the years with the tremendous support and generosity of our Foundation and Regional Advisory Council. Despite the size of our college, our Foundation's philanthropic giving remains one of the largest in the Connecticut Community College system, providing our students with the vital scholarships and emergency funding to continue their education. For many of our students, these resources are the differentiator between pursuing their education and not. Words cannot thank our donors and supporters enough for the difference they have made by investing in our college and in our students. As we pause today to celebrate the last 50 years of significant accomplishments and honor our QVC champions, our college must simultaneously look forward to a bright and vibrant future. Over the next 50 years, we will see the college emerge from the COVID pandemic and merger to become part of the Connecticut State Community College stronger and more resilient. We will see our instructional modalities and student support services become more flexible to better meet student-centered demand, including expanding online, hybrid, and live remote learning to advance teaching and learning. We will continue to build partnerships with Quinnebog Middle College in our area secondary schools to ensure more of our citizenry achieve a college-level credential or degree. We will expand focus on our adult learners and strategically partner with business and industry, our Chamber of Commerce, the Eastern Connecticut Workforce Investment Board, adult education and community-based organizations to ensure our community members can have the upward mobility and academic and career programming close to home aligned to our region's workforce needs. We will prioritize diversity, equity, and inclusion to ensure our outcomes demonstrate that all learners are achieving. We will continue our advocacy to enhance our service to the Willimantic community. We will work with our Regional Advisory Council to innovate and identify new curriculum opportunities in emerging fields. The next 50 years promise to be as impactful as the last.